Welcome to Nashfit Training Podcast. I'm Dr. Nash Jocic, PhD in philosophy, author, international speaker, fitness expert and nutritionist, and former bodybuilding champion. In this podcast, I will provide you with proven and effective strategies that will help you lose fat, build muscle, and completely change your body composition. The insights and advice I will share are grounded in scientific research and theoretical knowledge. But more importantly, they are drawn from my own experience as well as the experiences of my clients over the past four decades. So let us dive into today's topic. Hi guys, Nash here. Today I want to talk to you about optimal number of sets for muscle hypertrophy. This is clearly a confusing issue because there are people who perform low number of sets and achieve great results, but there are also people who perform much higher number of sets and also achieve great results. So people are constantly, you know, wondering, what should I do? What is the, the maximum number of sets? Is there is there something like that? What is the minimum number of sets? Uh, we all know that, for example, Mike Menzer advocated very low number of sets for optimal muscle growth. While on the other side, we had, as I spoke in the last video, we had Arnold and Serge Nubret, people who were performing much higher number of sets, and they also achieved great results. So where are we uh, standing? What is, the, what is the best for, let's say, uh, <clears throat> an average bodybuilder? Now, this, this question depends on, uh, on uh, many different factors. First of all, depends on intensity. If your training is very intense, you will not be able to perform too many sets. So if you can perform too many sets, then your intensity will be lower. Now, does it mean that if your intensity is lower, that you will uh, build less muscles than if your intensity is super high? This is another perplexing issue, clearly. There are advocates of super high intensity training, and uh, they claim that only that type of training can bring you muscles, can, can allow you to, to optimally develop your muscle tissue. While on the other side, there are many others who are not training with this extreme intensity, but are also achieving amazing results. Now, majority of the bodybuilders throughout the history of bodybuilding has performed roughly around 20 sets per muscle group per week, roughly. That means that some of them perform 16, some perform 24, some went up to 30. Uh, so uh, the, the, the number that, that, that goes to the higher end is around 20. Uh, we have many, many examples of that. If you look, uh, for example, bodybuilders like Lee Haney, Arnold, um, Franco, Franco Colombo, Dor um, Serge Nubre, um, then from the uh, modern day bodybuilders, uh, you have um, Phil Heath, you have uh, Ronnie Coleman, you have Jay Cutler. All these bodybuilders had tremendous results and they performed higher number of sets, anywhere from 16 to 30. Now, what, what you should do, well, what is, what, is, what, is the, what is the answer for every single one of you? If we consider science also, there is a lot of research that has been done on that issue and... Uh, the science, uh, the, the scientific research has shown that uh, anywhere between 10 and 20 sets per week is the optimal number of sets. Now, uh, si uh, research has shown that uh, you can achieve almost 90% of, of your uh, possible uh, muscle growth with 10 sets per week. Either you do that in one session or you split in two. Now, the thing is that if you carry on to 20, you will optimize your hypertrophy up to 100%. So you'll see if you go from 10 sets to 20, you're not going to double results. You're just going to improve a little bit. So from 90% of your capacity to grow muscles, you will reach 100%. So the, the benefit of those extra 10 sets is not that higher. Now, if you go over 20 sets, uh, you will not necessarily improve your muscle growth. This is what science says, scientific research. But uh, as you know, I, I like to consider more the, the you know, real world. Uh, I, I like uh, 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 real bodybuilders, successful bodybuilders. So for me, although I'm always listening to what science says, I'm trying to 
consider also the experience from the battlefield, if you want, in a way, and and always uh, discuss and see uh, what top bodybuilders are doing. I've spoken to many of them. Some of them advocated low number of reps. Some of them, like Jake Cutler, I spoke to him, advocates higher number of reps. I trained with Serge Nubre, extremely high number of um, sets, uh, not necessarily reps, but sets, sorry. So uh, you can see there is a difference in, in approach. So some people do higher, some people do lower number of sets per week. Uh, I think that for advanced bodybuilders, anywhere from 16 to 25, even 30 sets per week, we will be the optimal number of sets for muscle hypertrophy. If you're intermediate, anywhere from 12 to 20 sets per week will be more than enough. And you are a, if you are a beginner, I wouldn't go more than 10 sets per major muscle group per week. So um, bear that in mind. This is uh, very important to understand. Now, People have said that, you know, if you be when you become stronger, you cannot do more sets. This is, again, it's a, it's a questionable claim. Uh, what makes the difference is, uh, is uh, actually, if you're a natural bodybuilder, you won't be able to do as many sets. If you're taking steroids, you will be able to do many, many more sets than anyone can recommend. Either scientific research or... Uh, you know, that camp that advocates low number of sets, that's not true. Professional bodybuilders who are all on steroids, as most of you know, perform anywhere between 20 and 30 sets per week. Some of them, very, very few, have performed less than that. But this is rather an exception. I'm talking Dorian Yates. But Dorian also performed lots of sets. He, all, he claimed that only one set per, uh, per exercise was all out set, but he never performed only one set per exercise. He performed four sets per, ex uh, per exercise. I usually perform four to five sets uh, exercises per session. Now, <clears throat> if, uh, if you're a natural bodybuilder, you should focus on less sets per week, maybe 10, if I, 16 sets per, per a major muscle group will be top, max, this is my advice. If, if you are an enhanced bodybuilder, if you're taking steroids, then anywhere from 16 up to 30 sets. Now, the question is, uh, should you do that in one session or should you split that in, let's say, two or three sessions? Again, opinions are, uh, are, are different on that subject. And uh, I can tell you that most of the professional bodybuilders uh, train twice a day, right? And because of that, they can train muscle, uh, they can train every muscle maybe twice in eight days or 10 days, some of them even uh, twice a week. There are people who prefer to train only once a day and then do cardio, let's say in the evening or, or morning. Training once a day would, would mean that uh, the, the number of sets, that the required number of sets, anywhere from 16 to 25, maybe 30, should be performed in one session. So this is a very difficult thing to do. So if if I suggest, let's say, uh, uh, 30 sets per, uh, uh, per week for enhanced bodybuilders, uh, I would suggest that they split that in two. So two sessions, 15, 16 sets per muscle group, will be much better than to perform 30 sets in one session. But you have to experiment and find what works for you because we are all different. Some people prefer to train twice a day, some people prefer to train once a day. If you're training only once a day, and if you train muscle group only once a week, then you will have to do all these sets in one go. So probably you will end up around uh, 20 sets. Uh, it will be very difficult to perform more than that. But again, you have to experiment. Nothing is written in stone, and uh, I don't like when people say, oh, this is the way, I've done it, and then everybody has to do it like that. No, this is the only way. No, this is not the only way, and there is not one way. People have done everything, uh, extreme high intensity, lower number of sets, uh, medium intensity, higher number of sets, again, a little bit less intensity, even higher number of sets per week, and they, they all had tremendous results. So it's not only the number of sets, but also other factors, genetics, 
uh, fitness level experience, then if you are a natural bodybuilder or enhanced bodybuilder, that, that all this makes difference. The only way to find out what works for you is to experiment. Uh, my advice, you should take on board, uh, but you are the owner of your life, so you will be the one to make uh, final decisions. Now, I, uh, I can tell you my own experience and my best results uh, came actually for training uh, the whole body in three days and then taking the four day off. Uh, meaning I was training every muscle group twice every eight days. All right? So my typical session, for example, for chest, uh, legs, or back, I'm talking big, uh, major muscle groups, <clears throat> would consist of about uh, 16 sets. So if you consider that I'm doing two sessions, of twice chest in eight days, and uh, twice legs or twice back, that will amount anywhere to around 30 sets, 32 sets, uh, for for this period of uh, eight days, so um, this was a quite this is the quite high number of sets. But for me, that was I had the best results doing that. I used to train twice a day. Uh, let's say I would do chest in the morning, and then I would do shoulders and um, triceps in the evening, and the next day I would do uh, quads in the morning and hamstrings and calves in the evening, and the third day I would do let's say back in the morning and biceps and abs in the evening, I would take a day off and then repeat the cycle. So that would be uh, training uh, every major muscle group twice every eight days. The total number of sets was never 10 or 12 or 16. It was actually up to 30, 32. So um, before the show, let's say eight weeks before the show, maybe 10, I would perform everything. This, everything would be the same, but I would train six days a week with one day off. So uh, most of the bodybuilders in 70s and 80s and even in 90s trained that way. I did, I did it that way and I had fantastic results. I mean, I, I managed to, to compete with uh, 102 kgs on the stage. I was shredded, um, as you can see on these photos that I'm showing. And uh, I, uh, I uh, uh, didn't do any cardio because I was training twice a day. So um, again... I'm just giving you my example to uh, highlight to, to, uh, the, the, the fact that I was trying to do what was working for me and I found that that type of training with this number of sets and training um, every muscle twice in, in eight days and then before the show maybe twice in seven days was working the best for me. Uh, of course, when I competed, I was on, uh, on steroids, so this is why I could have done that. But if you're a natural bodybuilder, the story is very different. You have to be very careful. You will not be able to do this number of sets and reps. And these programs uh, are only for uh, uh, professional or high, highly advanced bodybuilders. So beware of uh, advice that often you can hear on the internet uh, about some absolute training systems and this is the way and nothing else. No, you have to you have to find out first of all where are you, what are your targets, your goals, how much you're ready to sacrifice your own uh, uh, free time and uh, many other things in life for for success in body, bodybuilding, and uh, if uh, also if you're natural, you should be aware that all these reps and sets and training systems that professional bodybuilders are doing they are not for you, so you have to experiment with a little bit. Uh, less volume and probably medium or high intensity training. Um, to summarize, <clears throat> I would suggest that the uh, uh, average number of sets for a beginner uh, should be around 10 per week per major muscle group. For intermediate uh, bodybuilders, it should be anywhere from 12 to 16 sets uh, a week for major muscle groups. And for advanced bodybuilders, I would suggest anywhere from 16 to 25 sets a week per uh, uh, major muscle group. So uh, <clears throat> there, is, there is much more to, to, to explain and to talk about uh, training systems, training techniques, uh, biomechanics, etc. But in this video, I just wanted to highlight this uh, a particular issue and uh, suggest uh, optimal number of sets for muscle hypertrophy 
uh, especially for the major muscle groups. So um, I hope you got this uh, idea and you will use it in your case and experiment and find out actually what works for you. Now, for those ones who would like to learn more about advanced training systems, about uh, uh, training techniques, about biomechanics, I would um, uh, full-heartedly suggest you to visit my website, nashfittraining.com, uh, where you will find my ebooks where I explain in detail all these subjects. Ebooks like, for example, uh, uh, weight training. Uh, this is uh, almost 500 pages of detailed explanation of every exercise training system. Uh, then also uh, another ebook which is uh, uh, Burn Fat, Build Muscle, which is a little bit more advanced. Uh, and another one which came recently, and this is. Uh, build muscle burn fat they all discuss uh, the training techniques training systems uh, very much in detail so uh, uh, if you are serious about training i think you should consider uh, buying those books from my website also there are other ebooks uh, considering nutrition like uh, the ultimate nutrition uh, feed uh, the muscle not the fat and uh, they're also available on, on my website. Apart from that, you can also benefit from a personalized training and nutritional programs that I do. Uh, also telephone consultations and online personal training. So if, if interested in all this, please visit my website, again, nashfittraining.com, and you will find all this uh, there. So... Um, I hope you like this video. If you did like it, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, send me your comments because they are very important for our community of, of athletes and bodybuilders. And uh, I hope to see you soon in my new video. So take care of yourself and uh, God bless.